In this video, I'm going to show you how to deposit crypto assets onto the Weeks platform from a MetaMask wallet using the mobile app. If you haven't already created an account on Weeks, I left you a link in the description of this video, as well as in the pinned comment down below. Weeks is often running promotions for people who are signing up for the first time. These can be nice deposit bonuses, mystery boxes, giveaways, airdrops, and more. You'll also save 15% on all your taker orders for the lifetime of your account. So anytime you're placing a market order, you'll be saving 15% on your trading fees, as well as be eligible for the current promotion, whatever that might be, by the time you're watching this video. You'll also be supporting my channel at no extra cost to you. This video is not financial advice and is for educational purposes only. Always do your own research before ever using a crypto exchange, including the Weeks platform. Let's get into the video. To deposit some assets onto the Weeks platform from your MetaMask wallet, you can tap on the deposit button here on the homepage, and alternatively, you can tap on asset bottom right hand side of the screen. From here, you can tap on the deposit button found right here, and this will bring you over to the crypto deposit form. Next, choose the token you wish to send onto the platform by tapping right here. You can choose it from this list here. You can select the popular crypto option here, or you can simply search for one in the search bar up above. I'm demonstrating with Tether, so I'm gonna tap here on USDT. Next, we need to choose the network that our tokens are stored on inside our MetaMask wallet by tapping right here. Now, in my case, my Tether is inside my MetaMask wallet on the Binance Smart Chain, so I need to select the BET20 BSC. So make sure you choose the correct network. So whatever network you're using inside your MetaMask wallet to store your crypto, you want to choose that network from the network options here on Weeks. Make sure they match. You don't want to send from one network and into another, or you will lose your crypto forever. So now that I've selected the correct network, as well as the token that I wish to deposit, Weeks is now generating my deposit address for Tether on the Binance Smart Chain. To copy this address, we can just tap on these two little boxes right here. Now I've copied that deposit address. So now I can bring in my MetaMask wallet. So I'll bring that into frame. Now that I'm on MetaMask, I need to make sure I'm set to the BNB chain, which I can see that I am up at the top. But if your wallet is not on the network that you intend to use, you just tap right here. And then you'd select the network from this list here that your crypto is stored inside. Of course, mine's on the BNB chain, so I'm going to be leaving it on that. And you can see my tether right here. So what we'll do from here is we'll tap on these two arrows at the bottom of the app. Then we're gonna tap right here where it says send crypto to any account. Now we're going to paste in our deposit address for the week's exchange into this box right here, just like so. So in my case here, I just pasted in my Tether deposit address for the Binance Smart Chain on the week's platform. So now I can come down here and tap on next. Now we need to select Tether by tapping right here where it says BNB and then we'll tap right here on our Tether balance. Now I can choose how much of this Tether I wish to send from MetaMask and onto the Weeks Exchange. You can type in a custom amount if you wish, just like this, or if you wanna send all of it, just tap here on Use Max. When you're ready to send your Tether, just come down here and tap on Next. You'll be able to review the details of your transfer, so if we scroll down just a little bit, You'll be able to see your estimated gas fee right here. So in my case, that's a very small amount of BNB. Remember, whenever you're sending tokens out of your MetaMask wallet, the gas fee is going to be paid for out of the native token of the network that you're using. So I'm using the BNB smart chain. That means this gas fee is going to be paid out of my BNB balance that I store inside my MetaMask wallet on the Binance smart chain. If you're using the Ethereum mainnet, your gas fee would be paid out of Ethereum. So you'd have to make sure that you have some Ethereum inside your MetaMask wallet on the Ethereum mainnet. So this looks fine to me. I'm gonna come down here and tap on send. And transaction submitted. And now that transaction is complete. So now that Tether is on its way from my MetaMask wallet and over to the Weeks platform. So I'm gonna bring Weeks back into frame. Now that I'm back on the Weeks platform, you can see my balance was updated to 127. If we come down here and tap where it says asset, make sure we're set to spot top right hand side here. And you can see the tether right here that I sent from MetaMask and onto the Weeks platform. Whenever your crypto arrives, it's going to be sent into your spot account and it can take a little bit of time. Now here's a quick tip with this. If it's your first time sending assets onto the Weeks exchange, just send a small amount first. When the smaller amount arrives, as you intended, then you can have the confidence to send in larger amounts. 
And there you have it. That's how you can transfer assets from MetaMask onto the Wheat Crypto Exchange. If you need any more help with the MetaMask wallet, feel free to check out my MetaMask step-by-step -step beginner tutorial, which I'll be leaving a link to that in the description down below for anyone that might find that helpful. Also, feel free to check out some of my other week's tutorials, which I put together in a playlist on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.